Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video and I woke up a few minutes ago but today I'm going to show you how to make a rig for this hand and then I'm going to show you how to set up drivers so you can control most of the fingers with just one bone alright so if you followed uh, the yesterday's video which there's a link in the description and probably um, a card somewhere in the top right corner um, then you got something like this and now you want to create a rig so you can control it right? press 7 to go into top view and then you can press shift A and add a armature now you get a bone, you probably don't see it but if you select the bone and go into this armature tab viewport display in front now you can see it press 1 to go into side view tab to go into edit mode and now you can just start editing it usually I go into wireframe mode so I can see where the uh, loop cuts are you can select this and press R Y 90 or sorry just select the top and then R Y 90 like that now you're gonna need five bones one for each finger so just extrude there select this extrude there select this extrude there select this extrude there and that's pretty much it now you can uh, extrude the rest so you know just E and then press X to extrude like that and while we're still in top view just move this bone backwards by pressing G and X and that's pretty good now if you go to side view you'll see that they do not align first I'm going to do the thumb which actually it's not too bad just move it a bit up with G and Z and the rest I'm going to select these um, I would say they're knuckles because they are um, I'm gonna move them up then I'm gonna select the first joints Oops. so just shift and right click to select them and move them up like that and we're going to do that for every joint now I think that's pretty good I'm just going to make sure that they are <clears throat> at the loop cuts because if they're not, they're not going to bend properly but yeah that looks pretty good pretty decent Basically, this is the whole rig. There's nothing else you need to do. This looks like a complete rig. Now you just have to name it, and this is probably the worst part, and it's going to take the longest. Um, so you go into edit mode, right? And then uh, go into armature, armature bone, and then you got a billion bones here. I usually like to open them all first, so, you know, I can just see how many I have. Uh, but yes, I just open them first, and then I start naming them. Once you open them all, you can just name them anything you want. I'm going to name them by their finger name. And I'm just going to forward this so you guys are not bored as fuck. Alright, so once you name them all, uh, you can just parent them, so just go into object mode, select the mesh, shift right click onto the armature, control P with automatic weights. Now, I don't think there's a need to weight paint, if you go into pose mode with control tab or just, you know, uh, select it um, up here, and you try to move some of the stuff, it's not going to be too bad, like, I don't think you need to uh, weight paint this, or at least we're not going to. If you want to weigh and paint it, uh, you can. I just want to check one thing, which is the rotation on the X or the Y axis. Looks pretty good. Rotation on the Y axis looks decent. And you can see the edge loop technique that we used. So now it's not all rough. There's a smooth transition when uh, bending the fingers. That's what we wanted. I think that works pretty well. Uh, and now we're going to create some drivers. 
which uh, will allow us to control the you know motion of the fist with just one bone. Okay, so you want to go into pose mode, and then you want to select, for example, first we're going to do the index finger. So just select the middle bone and then the last bone. Go into the constraints tab down here. So the last tab should be, and add a copy rotation. Now target, you can click this eye drop thingy and then select the armature up here, so the middle armature. Now we're making the copy rotation for the last bone. And then with the bone selection, just find that finger, that is index 3. Um, if you don't know, well you should. You can open the pose mode right here and then find it. Uh, and yeah, I have it selected. Index 3. Or you can just count them. Index 1, Index 2, Index 3, Index 4. Well, once you did that, you want to change space from uh, world to local and here also from world to local. I think that's all you have to do. Now, if you try moving this finger, you can see that this one follows. That's what we wanted. By moving it, I mean rotating with R. Now, we're going to do the same thing by selecting this bone and then this bone and adding a copy rotation. Uh, and then again select the armature and then index 2 because this is the index 2 and then uh, local space and local space and now if you rotate this you can see that it follows basically that's what we want to do at all the fingers and I explained it as good as I could I'm gonna try and explain it again on this finger and then I'm going to forward that select the middle finger then the bottom finger add constraint copy rotation you give it the bone that you want to copy from so this middle one because we're making the copy rotation for this one then you can uh, change the local space and of course don't forget the bone so middle three that's why we named them and now if you rotate on the y-axis it follows then do the same thing I just realized you don't have to select them both because copy rotation doesn't work properly so you can just select this bone and then add the copy rotation. I think that's a bit easier, I don't know why I was explaining it like that. Um, but middle 2, local space and local space. Now try and rotating on Y, works. Now I'm just going to forward this real quick. Alright, all of them work properly, but the thumb is a bit uh, different, I think. No, it shouldn't be different. Actually, it's the same. You just don't have to do it twice. Um, you just do it at once and then give it the proper bone. And it should work. The drivers are a bit different for the thumb. That's uh, why I got them confused. So, thumb 2. And now if you rotate the thumb 2, you can see that, um, you know, it works. Now for the drivers, there's few things we have to do. First, we need to create our control bone, which is not actually going to be a bone. Uh, we can uh, just hide this for a second, select it and press H to hide. And then press Shift A, go into Mesh, and then we're going to add a circle like that. And this circle is going to be our control bone, kind of. Press Alt H to unhide, select the circle, and make sure you position it somewhere where you're gonna want it. I'm gonna position mine just above the knuckles here. And I think that's where I would want it. I'm gonna move it just uh, above the middle finger so I can pair it to the mesh. But first, we're going to set up the drivers. We're going to need another window here, so just go to the corner and drag, wait, and drag like that. And up here in the left corner, just select drivers. That's what we're going to need. I like to make this one a bit smaller and then press N for this window. We're going to need it later. All right, press N in this window also. We're going to need it here. Once you have this kind of layout set up, the next steps are pretty easy to do. So you want to select the top bone of the finger. All right, so the only one that's not green. It's not hard to select. All right. Select it, go to Z here on rotation, right click, add driver. Once you do, you can left click it here 
and you'll get some options if you go to the drivers tab at the type just select average value here you need to select transform channel object so this is our controller is going to be the circle type is going to be Z scale so this is the transform that we need to change on the circle in order to rotate our finger so now the Z scale of our, of our circle is going to change the Z rotation of our finger and then you also want to change to local space go to modifiers add a generator modifier here put it to minus 2 and 2 alright go to drivers update dependencies now if you go into object mode and scale this you'll see that the finger moves along with this I'm gonna show you once more and then I'm gonna fast forward so select the top bone Z add driver when selected average value here transform channel select circle Z scale local space go to modifiers add a generator minus 2 and 2 go to drivers update dependencies that's it now it will work right so I'm just gonna fast forward here once you have them all set up you can scale it and move all your fingers which is pretty cool I'm gonna add the thumb now thumb uh, should be a bit different or shouldn't actually okay so I'm tr gonna try with the z-axis also and go to average value do the same thing it's pretty simple not too hard All the dependencies and now if I try and move it oh yeah that works pretty well before you finish I want to parent this bone to the armature so when we move the armature it moves with it so go into object mode select the circle then shift right click onto the armature control tab go to pose mode and then I'm going to parent it to this bone right here so press control P and I'm just gonna click bone now if you move uh, this bone it goes with it all right probably you're not gonna move that bone you're gonna move this one and it's going to follow it all right that's pretty important but after that that's pretty much it you, there's nothing else you, you gotta do this works perfectly almost uh, and it's gonna serve you well hopefully if this helps you leave a like comment down below subscribe uh, go uh, support me on patreon I really do appreciate that uh, join my discord and of course um subscribe they already say that i might have but yeah that's it for now um and yeah thank you for watching one quick tip for those who watch till the end um you can press alt s to bring it back right so if you scale it alt s brings it back resets to zero and yeah that's it bye bye